secured entrepreneurs. Miss Aurora is out here in the streets. I mean, literally, I have, I might have to make an on the road series because I'm literally out here in these streets. Now, uh, some of the secured entrepreneurs know what Miss Aurora is doing out here. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I put a little lip on for you. I got a little sun kiss, maybe even a little heat rash, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to keep coming because guess what? In this video, Miss Aurora has got to share these clips with you. There is an interview with a former Internal Revenue Service agent. He states that he has not paid federal income tax in 22 years based upon the information that he, number one, found, number two, did not find in the tax code, the tax law. And he's going to be sharing what he shared, all right, how there is nothing on any book anywhere stating that citizens of the United States Corporation are mandated, must, have to uh, pay federal income tax, okay? He gets into many of the things that Mr. Aurora has to tell all of the new secured entrepreneurs when you come on board. You're always saying, you know, I heard it. I can't find it. I don't know what it is. And then when Mr. Aurora points it out to you, like, oh my gosh, it, there it is. And there it not is. <laughs> Is that is that is that probably there it not is right? Uh, it's not here, right? The the agent points this out clearly in this interview. Mr. Moore is only going to show you you know snippets of this interview. The interview in its entirety is here on YouTube, so you can go and find this interview. However, Mr. Moore wants to get into just why it is once again. All of the secured entrepreneurs here know that we follow the Robert Kiyosaki philosophy, tax-free wealth. Tom will write, okay? We utilize every tax deferral strategy known to man, and we already know that we don't have any business paying federal income tax, all right? Now, I have helped a lot of the new secured entrepreneurs who work, you know, in corporate, in corporate America. They have corporate jobs, and, you know they have figured out that they can also exempt themselves from having to pay the federal income tax if they choose to because legally they don't have to but i just feel like this interview is extremely telling compelling and i think that it's going to be extremely helpful for a lot of people who have a little fear of coming on board to really conduct themselves properly in commerce via their business because they are not hearing the truth they are not hearing what's not there what's there in the tax law from people that they go to that are doing uh, their their tax returns and things like that because they're still living a 1040 lifestyle all right so if I don't I don't know what else is going to help you to finally try to put your finances in order your businesses in order your life in order you know because many of us have been robbed for years paying all of the taxes that we pay on a daily basis all right can we do it so for those of you who do not know who i am i am miss aurora day and i've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses you heard that right stick around because we know that this is the secured entrepreneur movement Well, there was, uh, still is a talk radio station, KSFO, uh, broadcast out of San Francisco. And so, of course, all the way down to San Jose, 50 miles to the south, you can hear the station loud and clear. And so when I was out doing my investigations, there was nothing against the regulations to listen to the radio. Um, of course, the, you know, the chatter on the police radio is few and far between when you're an IRS special agent. It's not like a police officer. And so I was listening to this talk show uh, hosted by a guy that was very trustworthy. He wasn't a partisan kind of guy. It was just about what's right or wrong. And he had a guest on his show uh, named DV Kid, uh, And she started talking about the income tax and saying that it was voluntary, that there wasn't a law you know, passed by Congress and signed by the president that made most Americans required to pay the federal income tax. And if you can imagine me driving around in my government car with my handcuffs and Sig Sauer 9mm and, you know, saying, lady, 
this tax ain't voluntary. <laughs> right. Uh, but because of this talk show host and how truthful all of the previous guests had been uh, and how truthful he was, uh, he was like a colonel in the special forces of the army, uh, just a real trustworthy guy. So I thought, well, something's wrong here. Either I'm not that great of an investigator because <laughs> I've trusted this talk show host who has these kooky people on, or there's something to this. And that was uh, just before Christmas in 1996. So that started me on about a two, two and a half year journey while I still worked every day as an IRS special agent, you know, doing my investigations. Um, but also on evenings, weekends, taking vacation days, and starting to dig into these claims that this lady made on the radio that day. She had a couple booklets that were, you know, 40, 50 pages each. I ordered those, and inside the booklets were all of these allegations, and she put address, you know, the names of the people, addresses, phone numbers, and, you know, contrary to popular belief, investigators use the pen and the phone a lot more than they use their gun. And so I just started to deploy my training uh, on my own time to investigate these claims to see what's this all about. If you look at the Internal Revenue Manual, you'll see that it actually lays out that the jurisdiction, you know, the reach, the ability of these IRS agents is limited to Americans who are living and working abroad outside the country not inside the country where you'd expect because that's where we see them they're on tv they're out there doing their audits and investigations and i thought well that couldn't possibly be true so i went upstairs to the law library and and flipped through the official internal revenue manual that the irs you know keeps for their own lawyers and and accountants and there it was uh, in fact, I've got that on my website on the landing page, agentfortruth.com. Um, these copies of the Internal Revenue Manual that I looked at and thought, wow, well, this isn't a lie. This is exactly as these people that the IRS called illegal tax protesters are saying that the IRS's own admission in their own Bible, you know, their own manual, says that they're reach their jurisdiction is limited to Americans living and working abroad. And so the crux of her argument is that Americans that are not living abroad and are just living in the United States don't have to pay an, a federal income tax. Is that the, the heart of her claim? Well, there, it's a pretty deep topic, I'm sure, like, you know, we could really go into the weeds, uh, and I know you don't have time to do that, but basically it centers on uh, an absence of a, of a liability statute. And what I mean by that is, if anyone just can uh, bear to go into the Internal Revenue Code, and I actually can show you why it'd be hard to bear wow. uh, to go <laughs> in. This is from 2012. Um, but anyway, now with the internet, of course, you can, you don't have to go and flip through pages. You can go and do word searches, but the IRS in their, in the 1040 booklet, they, um, display what's called the privacy act and paperwork reduction act notice. And that's basically the notice to the public about what laws that are there that require you to do these things, you know, for the IRS, give them tax returns. And the IRS's own admission in those statements, which are required by law, because you're, you, know, you as an American are supposed to know what laws require you to do what things. So the IRS spells out, and again, this is on my website, that you, know, you must give us a return or statement for any tax you are liable for, you know, any tax you are required to pay. And the courts have ruled that well, you have to be able to be the person responsible for paying a particular tax. So in the, in the law, there's a person or a party that's required to pay a liquor tax, uh, a tobacco tax, uh, the papers that go around a cigarette, there's a tax on that. There are all kinds of excise taxes uh, that are and income tax that are required to be paid, but there's a person 
who's made liable, who's, who's you know, designated as the responsible party to pay it. And so it's not, I mean, people might think it's an oversight, but how could it be an oversight that the average American living and working in the United States is not made liable to pay the federal income tax? So it literally says in the code that as an American, you are not liable for paying federal income tax. Well, it's, it's absent. In other it's words, all of these other parties are made liable, but you'd think, you know, job one would be to make the average American liable to pay it. Um, and again, I don't want to keep pointing to the website, but it's just, you know, free information as a way that people can check into what I, what I'm saying. All right. Now listen to what happens when he addresses this issue that he's been having with the tax code and the tax law and the work that he's been doing and falsely accusing people of being tax evaders. Listen to what he says, you know, he was asked to do after he said, you know, this is not the truth. People, the truth. So what did your supervisor say? You presented them with this information. Hey, everything that we're doing on a daily basis, going after individuals who aren't paying income tax, um, our job is kind of not really relevant. Uh, what do they say to you? Well, in a nutshell, uh, I gave them a, a letter. So I, I wrote down my, my basic concerns and I said, you know, I'd, I basically said, I'd really appreciate some assistance here because I've spent the last two years, you know, doing this investigation. I did it on my own time. I didn't ask for, you know, I didn't do it on government time, uh, but I really have some serious concerns. I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. You took the same oath. I went through all the Treasury guidelines of you know what you should do when you encounter fraud, waste, or abuse. So I just followed the rule book and approached them. And of course, they looked at me like I had two heads. Uh, I didn't go to the media or anything. I just wanted to, wanted some assistance. You know, if I've taken a wrong turn, if I've somehow done something, you know untoward uh but i mean I, here's my here's the evidence i gathered here's how i gathered it the, the irs trained me right on how to be an investigator uh so i just use the same skills the same training um but they basically for about a week nothing happened and then i was called into uh, what today is called the special agent in charge or sac uh, called into his office and he said what I'm about to tell you, I've been instructed to tell you. And uh, he told me that he basically got the word from the Assistant Commissioner for Criminal Investigation uh, back in Washington, D.C. So that guy answers to the commissioner. And they told me that they wouldn't be addressing any of my concerns and that they would provide me with the paperwork uh, necessary to tender my resignation. Wow. So keep quiet. We want you to leave get your paperwork together for a resignation. So you then leave the IRS. You then, I guess, realize, well, I, 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 why would I pay federal income taxes? Now, I've just discovered this. I've spent two years investigating this. I worked at the IRS. Is that when you decided I'm not, I'm not paying federal income taxes anymore? Well, it was certainly a difficult uh, decision because my entire life I've been filing federal you know, income tax returns. Um, but... I, I believed, you know, based on the evidence, I mean, I gave you just the, the small snippet of how the IRS's own manuals were saying things that, that proved what the citizens were saying and disproved what the IRS claims. Well, I guess I should and point out, is, is there, I mean, there's no law that says you have to pay federal income taxes, right? Is there a law on the books? So Americans that are watching right now, that are thinking they want to go down this rabbit hole as well, is there a law that they would be running afoul of if they decided not to pay their income taxes? And I know you're not a Pied Piper for it. You're not encouraging people not to do it and go up against the, the beast of lawfare and deal with all of that. And and I'm not either. I just want to be very clear. We're just this is this video is for informational purposes only, and you can choose to do with it what you will and do your own research on it. Um, but is there a specific law that people would be running afoul of if they decided not to pay their federal income taxes that you know of? I I mean, I could find none, and it wasn't like I didn't diligently search for the two years while I was an IRS agent, and ever since, you know, ever since February 25th and 99 when I resigned, uh, it's been nothing but a, 
a sincere good faith effort not some you know bs thing where i can make a big a bunch of bucks from it you know i i right. uh, i had to leave a very high paying government job a pension um leave it all and uh so i you know i believe what i'm saying but i want everyone else what i really would like is just an inf to inform people uh so that if they ever get served they go on and serve on a jury uh that they're informed jurors that they actually can see well maybe i won't i'll rest and wait and see and not just think that that guy or gal you know sitting at the defense table is a tax cheat you know uh maybe the government uh you know they've been caught in quite a few lies especially lately uh right maybe they're maybe the government has another motive you know than than telling us the truth and taking good care of us all right now secured entrepreneurs you already heard it all mr warren has to say is the next sole proprietor ceo group session is starting september the 26th at 4 p.m west coast time pdt you all know that mr warren is on west coast time okay and i would love 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 to have you to register now join now the links are going to be in the description i want to thank everyone who emails please continue to do so info at auroradayconsulting.com i want you all to go down and click the link if you are ready to get your anonymous llc's your irrevocable trust your wealth cycles all of the links are down below. Get on Miss Aurora's calendar. Join the group. If you want to do this with a group, you will still have the opportunity to get two anonymous LLCs, to get an irrevocable trust, to get 90 days business consulting with Miss Aurora. You're going to have the complete business uh, credit building program with Miss Aurora. All right. So let's do this because you might as well say we're already in 2025. We got three months left. What's really going on in your world? I don't even want to talk about what the heaven is happening in the country because i think too many of us know that there's a whole lot of buffoonery happening and we are rising above it and how we're rising above it is we are going to be in the know we're going to have all of our legal entities in place we are going to have the opportunity to create the type of revenue that we truly desire so we can get on with life and leave these legacies hello all right so you all know you can find me miss aurora day at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, 